I am Andreas Camillaris and I am a teacher at Creative Technologies Bachelor Program. And this is uh, one of the, well, not courses, but projects that I am uh, coordinating, which is called Smart Environments. So the idea of this course is that we create a smart environment that's usually for creating, you know, smart things that can talk to each other. So if you want to have your coffee at nine o'clock in the morning, every morning, then uh, smart environments yeah, provide you the, the playground to find the possibilities of making sure that you will get your coffee every morning at nine o'clock. You, for instance, connect a, a clock to it so that every morning it wakes you up at, let's say, uh, 8.30 so that you are perfectly awake by the time that your coffee is ready. So this year, um, due to the happenings around the world, the application domain is climate change. It's a domain which is uh, quite general so it can be considered an umbrella domain for uh, many other more specific application domains like uh, energy use and consumption, disaster management and response, water use and resources. So it takes a wide spectrum of uh, possibilities. There's a big variety in projects and, and types of projects and it really depends on what the students are interested in and what their main topic is and that what they want to focus on. But in general, all the projects that get yielded by, by the students are most of them very, very smart and they really show something that we want to see. So, for example, there are some teams that aim to cover a forest by sensors in a way that you detect immediately when there is a wildfire. It's a net of nodes and the idea is that they can be placed and deployed in a forest and they can sense forest fires, so they can help detect forest fires in the early stages. So they have quite a, a lot of sensors inside. They have a smoke sensor, a temperature and humidity sensor and an infrared flame sensor. So an easy way to trigger the infrared flame sensor is to trigger it with our phone. So we can actually shine some light on the sensor and you will see this red LED signifying fire turning on. And now over there, my teammate has received a signal that says node number five, which is this one, has detected fire. Using all these sensors and of course solar power, they can communicate with each other and when one of them finds fire, they can transmit this data to a central node, which will then let the authorities know that something's happening in that section of the forest. We looked into various different issues and found out that some areas with a severe lack of water or other water problems also tend to have a lot of flooding problems whenever it rains. So we decided to find a way to find out when a pipe or several pipes are clogged and therefore blocking the flow. So we've built a basic setup where we can measure if the water is still flowing and how high it is within the pipe so we can detect when there's a clog basically. I think it's um, something that I always liked, you know, to communicate uh, my knowledge and science and to collaborate with people, especially students. I think there is some good chemistry because we share same values and same um, philosophy with most of the students, especially students who come to the Creative Technologies Bachelor Program. They are students who want to have an impact to the world in a positive way. I really like the collaboration with Andreas because he's really open, he's really transparent about, uh, yeah, ab about everything that he does and he, it's not that he only forces his own way of thinking on people but he really listens to you and he really takes into account your capabilities and your ideas uh, and ju just really thinks along the way with you instead of the, the conventional way of teaching. So I think um, we're quite proud being their supervisors or critical observers to see this happening and to be able to understand that those people are ready to get in the market and to contribute um, to make uh, the world a better place.